This video is going to describe how to build a simple sketch activity. So let me call it sketch example and start building. So I'm going to add a sketch to the screen and a note. And in the note, I'm going to say draw the circle. And then using math formatting, enter a formula for the circle. X plus 3 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 25. So on the sketch side, I want to do a couple things. I want to change the background to an editable graph, which will just be blank. And I want to name the sketch. I'm going to call it sketch 1. On a second screen, to give the students some feedback on their work, I'm going to include a graph and a note. Let me copy from the first screen our circle. And say here, use the circle shown in orange to check your work. And so on this graph, I'm going to add that circle. and change the color to a dashed line that's orange. I'm also going to add something to the script, the computation layer script here, to pull the sketch from the previous screen into this screen. So I'm going to say background, sketch layer, and then refer to the sketch, sketch one from the previous screen, and bring forward the source, the sketch. So let's take a look at our activity. So if I go to the first slide here, I want to create this sketch. So let me plot the center at negative three, positive one, and then a radius of five is going to give us points that are five units away, up and down, right and left. And my circle, let me try to catch a good shape for my circle, is going to be in between those points. So connecting those dots, we get a circle, not the best one, admittedly. But if I go to the other screen, I can see how well I did and, and, you know, see that I have a reasonable sketch. So let me just add that it is possible to pull multiple sketches onto the same graph screen by merging the sketches. I'm not going to show how to do that in this video, but if you check the computation layer documentation, you'll see the merge sketch function, which could allow you to bring several sketches forward to the same graph screen. Of course, don't forget to save or publish your activity. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.